Hi, how you doing? It's Jeff Sinker. This time, we're back on status quo. And what a fun song, Caroline. Yeah, and you're probably going, well, oh, it's not a challenge, but it's a fun song to play, and he does give you some nice stretches on them fingers across that fretboard. So it's well worth looking at. Lead line when you play along with the rhythm track. Sounds great. It really is a fun song to play. I played this in one of my first bands way back in the 70s. Loved it. And we know if you've ever seen a core concert, if you've seen the play live, the crowd love this song as well, so it's well worth checking out. If this is your first time to the channel, hi, how you doing? Hope you're enjoying what you're seeing. Love to have your support. So why not click on that subscribe button, click on that bell, and then you're going to be notified whenever I'm posting anything new to my channel. Also, if you can on this one, click on the like. Let's try and really get the likes going on this one. Let's get that out there on the YouTube. Let's get this seen by as many people as possible. So do click on that like button now. Let's get this out. Let's get this shared. Anyway, enough of the plugs. Let's get in and let me show you how to play Caroline by Status Quo. So don't go away. Preview. Right, let's look at how we play the intro. Now, I've seen people tab this and I've seen people play these in different positions, but I, I'm just going to be looking at the way that Rick Parfit played this part of the song. Uh, typical status quo, they never make anything too complicated where they're playing. So uh, we're going to be playing on a F7 chord. And the, the differences on this one, and some people would go across onto the A fret, but Rick Parfit, he played it up here on the, on the 13th fret. Now we're just focusing across the E and the A string, and we're holding down 13 and 15. And we're going to play a motif with our little finger, which is going to play across... So we're playing this one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one, two and three and four and... And that is played over obviously the F chord. So we get this one... But I'm playing that, all I'm doing with the fingers is going which is going across on from playing some 15, I'm playing 15, 17, 15, and then I'm doing an 18, back to the 17, uh, sorry, the 15, and then back to the 17. Now, what we're going to play is just we're going to stick on this chord and we're going to play that 16 times. Just keep on going on. What we're going to do, we're going to continue with Rick Parfait and we are going to look at the verse sections. So let me just play through the verse. That's one verse, I'm just repeat the whole thing again. That takes us through the complete verse cycle. So what I've got there is two bars. We're gonna keep that boogie playing, that movement across the extended, moving up two fret and then that further third fret. So we start off with two bars of F7. Then we move down to a B flat minor, so I'm moving all the way down to six fret. Yeah, bit of a stretch there. Two bars. Up to the F7. One bar down to A fret for C7. Back up to our F7. And then we're going to come down to the C. 
and we're just playing downstrokes on that and we're going one and two and three and four and and then back up F7 B B minor rise F C F Now for the chorus section, Rick Parfit does a different approach on this when he's playing the F7 chord. What he does, he's down here, and he and what he does, he just moves between the open E string. Just play that. And he does that for four bars up to the B flat, back to the F, to the C, down to the B flat, and then you've got this F, then up to the C. And then you go back and you play another verse all the way through what we just covered and then into another chorus. And then we are into the first of the breaks. Now this section is the same as the beginning intro that he's playing. And of course we go back, uh, Francis Rossi plays the lead line over the top of it. We don't have that big, but what we don't have is that big long continuation of the F at the beginning. So what he's going to play while Rossi's playing the lead line, we're just going to play four bars of F7. So we get this... Uh... Down to the B minor. Back up. C. B flat. And then back to your F. And that is while well, Rossi's doing that little lead line. Then again, after that, it goes back to the verses and it goes back to the chorus section. Play through the chorus section and it will come back and we do another one of these guitar lead interlude sections. Let's just go through that outro section. Everything's very, very similar. It's only the last two bars that are different, but we're going to start off with our F7. B flat. Back to the F. C. B flat. And then we've got this. So from that, instead of going back to the, or going to the C, what you would do, or going back to the F, should I say, what you do normally, we play an F, A flat, G, F sharp, and then we've got F to F sharp. That's your first bar, and then we do an A, F to F sharp, E, finishing on that F, so it's and that is the end of the song as far as Rick Parfit is concerned. Let's go and check out that great little line that Francis Rossi is doing for the guitar. So let's look at the initial riff. Okay, again, keeping it easy. He's starting off on an, uh, the D string and you're playing an 8. And then I'm playing 7 on the D. To the 8 on the A. And then I do an 8, 7 again. So it's 8. And that's coming in on the two count, so we get one. So it's 
So we're gonna play that 11 times and then we got this change where we're gonna play. So I'm playing the eight, seven on the D and then I go back and I play eight on the A and then I do eight, six on the D and I've got the same thing. Gonna do that twice and then I go back to my normal. Gonna play that twice. And then I've got this line, which is on the D string 10, 8, 7, 10. Back to the 7. And then I've got, I've got a seven, eight, seven hammer on pull up. Then I do a six on the D, five. And then I pick it up eight on the A. And then we've got five on the D, back to the A. So I'm gonna put that all together from them last two. Back to and that is your main riff. Now, if we put that together through them passing phrases, we got Is the main riff I've got it all tapped out for you so you'll be able to follow it through and of course he plays that three times through this song so what you can do if you have get uh, you can um, get what I'll do I'll put the link in so you can take then the guitar pro tab so you'll be able to go through that whole sequence because once he's come out of that <laughs> gone through that line then he's gone back goes back to that and you're going to play that line for another five times and you're going to finish off on the seven and then you're into the first section so that is what Francis Rossi is playing behind the main. When he's not playing that, then he's playing the rhythm. Only difference is when uh, Rick Parfit is playing the F down here, Rossi is playing the F here. So you get that. That's been played there by Rick Parfit, Rossi. In the straightforward boogie, the typical boogie line over the top. Fun song. Very, very easy to play, but it's good for getting that stretch going because on that B flat, you've got a quite a big stretch to get across on that. So it's a good little workout for playing some boogie on that. Well, I do hope you've enjoyed learning how to play Caroline by Status Quo. Another great fun song by Quo. But I'm going to let you go so you can get into this. But until the next time, this is Jeff Sinker wishing you well. I look forward to seeing you again real soon. Until then, goodbye. <laughs>